students this time i am going to handle the subject called multimedia communication it's a seven semester paper the subject code for multimedia communication is 17ec741 fourth year subject here i am going to discuss about the uh, models which is available in the multimedia communication it is framed in the multimedia communication in multimedia communication we have uh, five modules uh, what do you mean by multimedia you mean we know what is communication communication is nothing but transfer of information from one point to another point or source to destination that is a communication what is the term called multimedia multimedia two different uh, terms are added multimedia is added with the multimedia multi means many media means various kinds of path or a channel or informations so many mediums are integrated together and it will be transferred from one place to other place or one point to another point one terminal to another terminal through uh, infrastructure of the networks that is called nothing but multimedia for example if you take a newspaper <coughs> What are the contents you will find in the newspaper if it is a digital newspaper? We have a text and we have a images of the particular information. Okay, how we are reading the uh, newspaper, digital newspaper? We are browsing through the internet. So that newspaper will be stored in the server. Whenever we click that, that server will send the information from source to destination. Okay, there. How the data are trans, how the informations are transferred in the sense, there the text is a one media and image is the another media. Both are integrated and it will be transferred from server to the destination. That means consumer point. This is called as one of the multimedia. Or you want to listen that song from the some website or some music app. How it will be then? that uh, url or some of the uh, path that will be stored in the server whenever if you uh, click the particular browser in the sense then that information that uh, music consists of only sound signal sometimes it may have speech signal also both are combined and both are integrated then it will be reached to the destination if, it, if you are seeing some mo movie or uh, the TV uh, cable TV access system if you talk about the cable TV access system in movie or any film what are the things are available what are the informations are available in the sense we have image we have moving picture and we have sound okay so moving picture as well as sound both are integrated together then it will be broadcasted from the server to the television network so this is nothing but multimedia communication okay so what are the medias are available in the sense it may be a text or it may be image or it may be combination of text and image or it may be the combination of um, speech and video or speech music signal and video there are five mediums of informations are available in the system okay so multimedia means which embraces the range of application and network infrastructure. The term multimedia is used to indicate the information or a data relating to an application. It may be composed of number of uh, different types of media, number of different types of media in the sense it may be a text or image or speech or music or video or sometimes it is called as a graphics or animations. All the things sometimes it may be transmitted in singly way that means only one uh, type of information is used to communicate or sometimes it may be integration of the two informations can be uh, communicated from source to destination for example if you talk about the if you take the telephone system there the voice is the message okay voice is the information it's not message voice is the information voice is the information in the sense it is a speech signal 
so it is a singly communication that means only the voice signal is communicated between the source and destination if you talk about the sms in the sense only we have a text message that means only we have a formatted text or info unformatted text or it may be ipad text like that we have a only formatted uh, we have a text that can be transmitted from one point to another point if you talk about the um, you are sending some pictures in whatsapp or uh, any kind of uh, facebook or any kind of social media or mms multimedia services in the sense there and consists of uh, image as well as the image is conveying some information using text okay that also be considered so the course objective of this multimedia communication is you can gain the fundamental knowledge in understanding the basics of different multimedia networks what are the different multimedia networks we have a telecommunication system data on internet internet system broadcasting channels and then broadband communication system isdn network these are all the various networks so connectionless connection oriented packet modes circuit mode these are all coming under the network and application system we can understand the digitization principle techniques and required to analyze the different media and the third one is we can analyze the compression techniques required to compress the text and image and gain the knowledge of the dms dms is nothing but distributed multimedia system okay so this is the dms and we can analyze the compression techniques required to compress the audio and video we can gain the fundamental knowledge about the multimedia communication across the networks and uh, we have five models already i told that the first model is nothing but introduction to the communications multimedia communication system where we are going to study about what is pstn what is part what is data internet there it is coming under the internet uh, introduction to the communication system and what is text what is image what is um a speech or how the speech is different from music and videos these are all coming under the module one and we are going to how the multimedia information can be represented that we are going to discuss in the multimedia information representation that means whatever the signals that will be converted into binary then it will be transmitted from the point of point to another point so so that is nothing but the multimedia information representation so normally the text message as well as the image are in digital format nowadays but uh, when talk about the uh, um, voice message or a speech message or the video message these are all the continuously varying signal okay it is called as a continuous media and text and image is called as a discrete media and what are the multimedia networks we are it is available and multimedia applications what kind of applications we are using okay and application and network technology quality quality of services okay the quality of how we are giving the quality of services to this uh, uh, communication network and what kind of quality of uh, services we have to be considered uh, jitter delay propagation delay transmission delay these are all coming in the module one and the textbook for the module one is nothing but fred olson multimedia communication system chapter one is the model one for the uh, fred olson and then chapter two model two we are going to discuss about the information representation how the information what are the information we have a text is information image is also information speech video audio graphics and then animations everything is an information how the informations can be represented and is in binary form how the transmission is taking place so far that we are going to study about the what is encoder what is decoder what are the uh, how that uh, uh, pulse code modulation is used here for the compression of the signals or for transmitting of the signals that and all we are going to study in the model 2 and the textbook is fred halsell multimedia communication system and then uh, the chapter in that uh, book is nothing but chapter 2 is comprises of the model 2 syllabus okay and then model 3 we have which has the two part one part is nothing but text and image compression here how the text if the text value on the image value is more than uh, more than the space uh, size required by the user or by the other person in the sense how the compression will be taking place in the 
um, a text and image that we are going to discuss about this thing suppose for example if you want to upload some photos in some of the portal the portal clearly mentioned that more than 1 MB your photo will be rejected okay so we are applying some resizing the picture by using some kind of algorithms and some kind of prin uh, compression principle normally this is done by manually but sometimes the picture is more suppose i want to send a 10 mb of data to some of the person in the sense i am simply sending through email or anything else but what that uh, the server the network provider what they will do in the sense they will compress the information signal using some algorithm and it will be transmitted from one point to another point and receiver side same algorithm is used to decompress the or de extract the original information so that is nothing but the uh, compression algorithms or uh, com compression techniques we are using here okay and uh, here we are going to discuss about how the compression principles are there what are the compression principle is for the text compressions and video compressions or sorry image compressions are here the module is two part first part is covered by text one that is Fred Alsell multimedia communication system the second part is nothing but distributed multimedia system what is distributed multimedia system how the client server um, uh, transmission will be managed or uh, various networks are connected to the multimedia system in the sense how that management will be taking place what are the features of the DMS what are the resource is required for the DMS setup and what is the networking and what kind of operating system is required for multimedia application part this is comprises of another part in the model 3 and this will be covered in the text 2 called KR Rao Zoran Boswick Dragon and million multimedia communication system okay this is chapter 4 text 2 and next one is nothing but module 4 there we are going to discuss about the audio video compression system okay audio video compression system in the sense audio video is normally continuously varying signals okay it is a continuously varying signal so we are saying that continuous media okay so text and image are it is a discrete in nature so discrete media in nature is it is in a digital form but here it is an analog form it has to be converted into digital form then we have to apply the compressions techniques video compression techniques audio compression techniques and what are the principles of the video compression techniques we are using that many video format like mpeg and we are using some kind of uh, mvi avi something uh, formats are there how we are applying this compression principle to those formats and how it will be recovered in the uh, <coughs> destination part that we are going to discuss in the model 4 so model 4 is covered in the text one Fred Alsell Multimedia Communication System Chapter 4 and last one is Model 5 where the communication across the network what are the what do you mean by packet uh, audio what do you mean by packet video here we are going to discuss about the video transports across the generic networks and multimedia transports across the ATM networks these are all the things comprises in the Model 5 where we, here uh, text 2 is used text 2 in the sense KR Rao Zoran Multimedia Communication System Chapter is 6. Sixth chapter covers of the text 2 of model 5. Course outcome. What are the course outcome in the sense you can understand the different multimedia networks and applications. You can understand the different compression techniques to compress the audio and video. You can describe multimedia communication across the network and you can analyze the what are the different media types present in the digital form. We can have the knowledge of how to compress the different types of text and images using different compression techniques and analyzing the distributed multimedia system question paper in the sense you have a 10 questions okay each uh, question full question carries 20 marks okay five parts will be there so 10 questions in that each question carries the 20 marks there will be two full questions okay maximum of uh, four subdivisions from each module <laughs> each full questions have the sub questions covering all the topics under a module part a part b if suppose if you consider the model 3 which has two more parts so each model will be comprises using this each full question will be comprises with the sub question of the under the model and uh, students will have to answer all full five full questions selecting one full question from each module okay thank you